Alright you guys, so in this video we are going to be creating um, a knit head scarf. So you are going to need a lumen hook, uh, a little plastic uh, sewing needle, and some yarn of your choice. I'm just going to do this one. Um, I think this would be, I think this would turn out pretty, pretty cute, pretty okay. So, you just need a loom, what are these called? A loom, I think a loom, you just need a loom, it could be any size, you could even do it on this small one right here, you could do it on the big one right here, that doesn't matter. Uh, the one I'm actually going to use is actually just this one, this one is for scarves, the reason I'm using this one is because I'm about to sit and do this while I'm watching the show, y'all I'm about to watch Bridgerton, I just started getting into it and y'all I, I love it, okay, and I'm about to go and watch it, not even going live. But uh, because this one is sit on my lap better. Okay, so how do we decide? Okay, so for mine, because I want mine to be like the width of it, because I want the width of it to be pretty, pretty long, you're going to need to count out your rows. Now, you will need to make sure that whatever loom you choose to use, it has that many rows as you want it long. So, for example, like this one, as you can see, this one is not, it's not that wide. But I do like this one because it doesn't, the holes are not, you know what I'm saying, like big like this one. So, I think I'm actually going to use this stitch. I'm going to show you guys how to use this stitch. Like, I love this one. Um, yeah, I just love that one. So, that's going to be the one that I do. And I'm going to um, just make it wider, you know. So... I actually think I might do 20, 20 rows. I think I'm going to do 20 rows. So think about how wide you want it. Or, you know, it could just be a little, you know, like a little edge scarf or like a little headband. However you want it to be. It could be 10 rows. It would be 12. Like I said, I'm doing 20. All right, you guys. So right here, I am just uh, creating a simple slip knot so that I can start my, um, my rose on my loom. Okay, now that we have our slip knot on our first peg, all I'm going to do is double wrap each peg and um, take the bottom loop off. So like that now has two wraps. And so I'm going to take my loom hook, and that is it. That's all I'm going to do. Now let's do it for the next one. We're going to take it from the back, wrap again, wrap, take off. Again, take your yarn around the back, wrap, slide it down. Wrap again, the one on the bottom goes over that one. One more time. And you're going to do this, like I said, I'm doing 20, so I'm going to do this for all 20 pegs, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that we have um, all of our rows casted on, uh, it's actually quite simple. We're only going to be doing two different stitches throughout this whole project. Uh, when you go from the right to the left, it's going to be one stitch. And then when you go from the left to the right, it's going to be a totally different stitches. And we're just going to continue that pattern um, the whole time. So let's go ahead and start uh, the first stitch. Okay, so as you see, you are not going to have uh, two loops on that very first peg. But you are going to start wrapping all the other pegs after that which is going to make two loops on each one. Now, because this is the first time that we're going from this side to the left, there's not going to be two on that very first one. But after this, you will have two on that first one that you will need to loop over. So just this one time. And then when we get here, we're going to take our loom hook and we are just going to take that bottom loop off. We're going to take it over. 
as you see what I'm doing now. We are just taking it over the top, taking it off. And like I said, there is only these two different types of uh, stitch patterns that we're going to do for the whole scarf. So it's pretty simple. If you need to go back and rewind to see it, um, you know, again or over, you can do so. And like I said, just in this video, there's not two loops on that first one. Just in this video. I mean, just on this first round, there wasn't two loops. Here, I wanted to get um, up close and show you guys uh, what I was doing so that you guys can get a better look. Right here, we are at the end. And this is where you're going to start having two on the very first peg. And then you're just starting over all of your pegs. And that's the way we're going to continue. Here we're back to the beginning and we are doing the same thing, just looping that bottom part over. Really simple, really easy, and we are going to just continue this pattern for the whole scarf. And as you see, there's now two hooks on that last one, so you just hook it over. And now we're going to start over. here we are back to this uh, pattern where we have to take it off and put the loop on and now we're doing this all the way till we get to the other end We are back at the end, and like I said, we're doing the same thing. You're going to wrap that last one to where I have two now, and then you're just going to continue wrapping and go all the way down and full scarf. All 
Alright you guys, I was able to get through a whole season of Bridgerton. Although I was already a few episodes in, but this is the length that I got mine at. And I stopped it on the left. So what I'm about to do now is just cut a little bit of length. Alright, so I cut a little bit of length and we are going to now go ahead and take it off. And what we're going to do is, first before we take it off, we're going to loop this through each, each one of these. So we are just going to go from the left to the right, same as we would, no different. But as soon as you loop it through, you can go ahead and take that one off. You are free to take that one off. It is not going to come off. It's not going to come undone. So I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I am now just going to go ahead, take it off. It is done. We do not need this anymore. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and you can stretch it now. Oh, goodness. Okay, so now that I've stretched it, I'm going to go ahead and measure it just to see how long I made it. Because like I said, I did not measure this. Okay, so it's actually it's actually 35 inches even. Okay, so for the ends, as you can see, if you pull this real tight, it's going to draw up. Now, if that is, hey, how you want it, then so be it. But I actually just, I want it to be the same as the other side. So you know what, what I actually think is I'm going to run this through a second time just so the loops aren't like so big and like gapped open. I think I'm going to run this through each of these um, stitches another time until I get to this end. Okay now from here you can do, you can do a couple things. You can just take the end and you can weave it in to these you know the stitching the lining you can do that uh, which is what I normally do but um you know what I think I'm just gonna sit here and tie a little knot at the end and and call it and call it a day I think that's what I'm gonna do I mean ain't nobody gonna see the ends anyway I don't think so Do it again right here. All right, then once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and snip it. And you guys, our scarf, our scarf is done. Like, we're, we're out. Oh, wait, we're not out of here yet. Um, also this one you can um, do the same thing with this one with the opposite end because there's a string on this one so just tie this one in a knot or um, weave it into your your um, your stitches as well all right y'all so I'm just gonna put my hair I don't know in a bun because I don't I don't know let's test this out and this is the first one that I've done that is like the same um, on both ends. I normally do one end smaller. But you know what? I said, how am I ever going to know? How am I ever going to know what it does? Like, how am I ever going to know? Y'all. Oh my gosh. I like it. 
I love it. Okay, okay, okay. Before I get too excited. All right, let's try to style it. Let's do it this way. Let's see what we can come up with this way. There's many, many, many different styles you can do with this. I can't do it in front of the computer. Matter of fact, I might go do some styles and come back. I think I'm going to do that.